Marvel Comics, Marvel Multimax. Never mind the bollocks, here's Horror Mike. Greetings, friends. Today we're taking a good look at Marvel Multimax, produced by Marvel between the years of 1972 and 1984. You're looking at a very good example of Marvel Multimags distributed to grocery stores and supermarkets in September of 1975. Three comics for 74 cents. The books included here are The Avengers number 139, Conan the Barbarian number 54, and Jungle Action number 17, featuring the Black Panther. All three of these comics were originally published in June of 1975, and all three have Gil, Mr. Ubiquitous, Kane covers. Marvel Multimags were produced for many years from 1972 to 1984 offering a convenient way to buy multiple copies at your local grocer or supermarket. Granted, the sale price for this particular set was 74 cents, a whole penny less than the cost for buying three single issues in 1975. So it wasn't the bargain price, quote unquote, as much as the convenience that made these multi-mags popular for years. You can still find these Marvel Multimags in very good to excellent condition for a reasonable price on eBay and elsewhere. This particular set I bought a while back for 30 bucks is in superb shape. The two visible comics, Avengers number 139 and Conan the Barbarian number 54, appear to be in very fine to near mint condition and I would imagine that Jungle Action number 17 in the middle is in better condition considering it's sandwiched between the aforementioned books and thus has had little to no interaction with light or direct handling. The bag itself appears to be entirely sealed and the top hanger label completely intact. Often you will find a tear or seal break with these bags, which is understandable considering their age. This one in particular being nearly 50 years old. Of course, once you open the bag, it pretty much destroys the entire multi-mag idea in the collector's world. If you price these three issues out separately in very fine to near mint condition, you'll find that the single issues are equal or greater in value to what I paid for the Multimag. So if you can get a good price for one in great shape, I think it's an excellent buy whether or not you end up opening the bag. Other Marvel Multimag sets include 1974, Vault of Evil number 12, Daredevil number 112, and in between, Weird Wonder Tales number 5. 1976, Master of Kung Fu number 45, Marvel Spotlight number 30, and Tomb of Dracula number 49 in the middle. 1980, She-Hulk number 1, and Amazing Spider-Man number 201. 1981, a two-pack with Daredevil number 173, An Amazing Spider-Man number 219, both of which have Frank Miller covers. 
A special thanks to the great website wyman.info forward slash comics for additional images and information on these Marvel Multimags. Highly recommend it if you want a complete listing of all Multimags ever produced. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, please like and subscribe. Thank you.